Okay, so find the measure of each numbered angle. Right here we have a triangle. We know that angles of a triangle add to 180. So 180 minus the 80 degrees minus 73 would give us this angle here. When you subtract this, you could use a calculator or do it by hand, you will get 27 degrees. So measure of angle one equals 27 degrees. And the next one, number two. Here it shows us an isosceles triangle. We know it's isosceles because of these little marks. It says that these two angles are the same measure. Um, what we can do is we'll do 180 minus 146 to get 34 degrees. Um, but that needs to be divided evenly among those two angles there. So 34 divided by 2 will give you 17. So measure of angle 1 equals 17 degrees, and measure of angle 2 also equals 17 degrees. Okay, then three, find each measure. Ooh, it's kind of blurry, huh? there it goes, okay. So here is the picture over here. It says find the measure of angle one. Well, these three angles we know add to 180, so 180 minus 85 minus 40 equals 55 degrees. And then once you find that angle, just write it on the picture because it'll help you figure out other angles. Then measure of angle two is a vertical angle with measure with one. So this must also be 55 degrees. And then measure of angle three, um, these three angles have to add to 180. So we can do 180 minus 55 minus 55 to get measure of angle three equals 70 degrees. Nice job. Right. What I did is times 55 times three, which is 110. Good, good work. Okay, so moving on to the next one, you know they get a little bit harder. Um, this one shows an exterior angle for angle one. Um, that exterior angle equals the sum of these two angles, so we can add 70 plus 55 to get the answer here, and that would be 125. 125 degrees. Then for measure of angle two is a vertical angle again, so it's the same measure, 55 degrees. Measure of angle three. So we're still using the exterior angle sum theorem, so these two angles have to add to 150. So we can do 150 minus 55 equals 95 degrees. So measure of angle three equals 95 degrees. Okay, and then they get more complicated. Not hard, just more detail here. Okay, so this one at once measure of angle one, that's an exterior angle, it must be the sum of these two. 60 plus 80, which equals 140 degrees. And I'm going to write that down there because it'll help me figure out the other angles. Measure of angle 2 forms a linear pair with 1, so that must be 40 degrees. Measure of angle 3. Well, I have the exterior angle here, 105, so these two must add to 105. So I can do 105 minus 40 to get 65 degrees. So again, I'm gonna just jot that down. Angle four right here forms a linear pair with the 105, so that must be 75 degrees. And then measure of angle five, this exterior angle, um, would be the sum of these two, so 40 plus 75. 115. Nice work. 
Um, what's nice is they do walk you through it step by step, but sometimes in the problems, they'll just jump to angle five. Um, and then you'll have to figure out angle four first, but they won't tell you that. So it's kind of like a puzzle at some time, sometimes. If they don't give you everything you need, see if you can figure it out. And then 14 and 15, find each measure here. Um, measure of angle one, it shows a right triangle here. Remember, these two angles have to add up to 90 if you have that 90 degree angle there. So 90 minus 63 equals 27 degrees. That is your answer. And then for measure of angle two, um, we have that 90 degrees. So 180 minus 90 is 90. And then 90 minus 63 gives us angle two. So it is also 27 degrees. On the back, we're just gonna go over one problem that shows up on the homework. Number 14. It says the diagram shows an example of the Pratt truss used in bridge construction. Use the diagram to find the measure of angle one. Well, um, in the diagram, it shows a 90 degree angle there, so that means this must be 90 degrees as well. We have the exterior angle, these two angles must add to 145. So 145 minus the 90 degree angle equals 55 degrees. So measure of angle one is 55 degrees. Um, on the homework, for whatever reason, the question looks like this. Obviously there was a formatting issue when it was transferring into Schoology and it included that question as part of the question. Um, just ignore that that's there and just look at this part of the problem when you, if you get it on the homework. Um, this homework is much easier than even yesterday, so I think you'll do